Hello, welcome to episode 6 of Practicing Pro with Michael. This episode I will be talking about select by attributes and select by location. Select by attributes is selecting something based on the value in a table. Suppose I want to select all roads that have the speed limit at 55 miles per hour. I click select by attributes. I change my input to roads and make sure it's on new selection. Click New Expression, click Where, and then drop down to My Speed. And it says is equal to 55, and then click Run. And there are all my roads that have a speed limit of 55 miles per hour. Now I want to select parcels that have a map number of 68. So let me close this and reopen it, select by attributes, select parcels, new selection, new expression, go down to map number is equal to, and let's find 68, and click run. Now you can right click on your layer in this, distant, in this instant parcels, go to selection and say zoom to selection. <clears throat> and now we have my parcels on map 58, but also my roads that are 55 miles per hour. So what if I want to also select those on map 67 in addition to those who have a map number 68? Use add to current selection. So click Add to Current Selection, and now I'm going to change it to 67. Click Run. And now if we zoom to Selection, you'll see we have those in Map 67 and 68. Now I'm going to show you select by location. So let me clear. Switch a uh, select by location is selecting features based on other features. In this first example, I want to select all cities in a county. So let me turn off all counties. And now I'm going to select all cities within Clinch County. Let me close this one. Click select by location. And we want to select all cities that intersect Clinch County. And there we have it. We have one, two, three, four cities that intersect Clinch County. Check over here. There's four cities. So now, what if we want to um, select all cities that intersect two counties? So let me turn off Clinch County, turn on all counties, and I'll clear my selection. And now let me select these two counties. And I'll close my select by lo location, open it back up. Now I want to select all cities that intersect Georgia counties. And by default, since something is selected, it's only going to select based on that selection or that selected set. So it's only going to select cities that intersect the two Georgia counties that are selected. Click Run. And there we have it, five cities. One, two, three, four, five cities in those two counties. So something you can also do is select within a distance. So let me go back to my other tab here. I'm going to go to my bookmark for railroad. So suppose I want to select all parcels within a 200 foot distance of a selected railroad segment. First, so first let me select my railroad segment. Close this. Now select by location. And I want to select parcels that intersect 
my railroad. And once again, since this railroad segment is selected, it will select based on this selected segment. So within a distance of, what did I say, 200. Click Run. And there you have it. Those are the parcels within 200 feet of that railroad segment. Thanks for listening.